Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the HDR look filter that's found in the effects module of On One Photo Raw 2018. Yes, with the HDR look filter, you could give your image that HDR look, but the filter has a little more depth than that. You could actually do a little bit more to your image that really would be beneficial to some images and not necessarily that quote HDR look. So we're going to take a look at it right away. We're in the effects module and I'm going to click on add filter and we're going to go down to HDR look. And of course, as soon as we open the filter, it added the natural style to our image right away. And you can see with the natural style, it seemed to have increased the detail on the beach and it seemed to rein in the highlights a little bit. There's before and there's after. And we have four more styles beyond natural. We have surreal, we have glow, and then under the drop down, we have two others beside those three. We have exagger exaggerated edges and tone and we have subtle. So you could pick any of those styles if that is something that is beneficial to your image and you'd be done. Now if you'd like to see those five styles side by side, go over to the left hand panel and in this tab that says filters, click on that and you'll see all five of the styles. And if you want to see a larger view of them side by side, click on this grouping of four bricks. And when you click on that, you could see all five of them. And if you like one like natural, just click on it once and it will apply that style to your image. And you can see it's not really an over the top look. There's before and there's after. Definitely added a lot of detail to the image and it also reigned in the highlights quite a bit as well. Well, you could come in and you could do all that manually with the sliders down here. And the sliders are pretty straightforward. The compression slider is kind of like a tone slider. If I bring it all the way to the left, it's going to um, make the image have the shadows a little darker and the highlights a little brighter. And as I move it to the right, it's going to start to rain in the highlights and open up the shadows. So you can see as I move it to the right, it's very obvious that the highlights are being reined in. But if you look closely at the shadows, you could see that as I move it to the right, the shadows are being opened up. So it's kind of affecting the overall tone of the image. Now the detail slider is the slider that will give you that quote HDR look. If I move it to the right a lot, you could see how it really does that really gaudy over the top HDR look. So you want to be careful with the detail slider unless of course you want to get that over the top HDR look. Now if we move this towards the left, we start to blur out a lot. Um, so if you're going for kind of a, a surreal look to your image, an ethereal look, you'd want to move detail to the left. Most cases, you don't want to do that. At least I've not seen many images posted on Instagram and Flickr that have that look to them. So I don't think most people want to do that. So you're going to want to add some detail often. I would just be very careful, especially when you're processing a lot of images, your eyes tend to get tired and sharpness doesn't look as sharp when it uh, really is. So um, less is better usually, especially if you've been processing images um, for several hours in a row because your eyes would be tired. So I recommend you adjust detail slightly, rest your eyes for a bit, do something else away from your computer, then come back and readjust detail as needed. Now clarity is the typical clarity slider. It does similar to what detail does, but it just kind of adds this clarity to your image. And those of you that are familiar with Lightroom know that um, there's a clarity slider in Lightroom and it does very similar to what that slider does. Um, so just move that to the right. Now by default, zero for clarity is has the slider all the way to the far left, whereas zero for detail is right in the middle. So you could remove detail or add detail, whereas clarity you could only add. 
So use the clarity and detail sliders in conjunction with one another to try to get a detailed image the way you want it. Now, the next three sliders affect the entire image. This is just the typical highlight slider. If I move it to the right, I'm making the highlights brighter. If I move it to the left, I'm making the highlights darker. Similarly with shadows, if I move it to the right, I'm making the shadows lighter. If I move it to the left, I'm making the shadows darker. And the vibrant slider is just adding vibrance to your image. So it's just going to enhance the color satur saturation of the colors in your image. It won't do red like a typical vibrant slider does. It won't enhance red as much as the other colors. So it's a nice slider to use if you have a person in your image. It won't affect their skin tone as much. And also, it won't oversaturate, or at least it's not supposed to oversaturate any of the colors. It will just bring them to saturation. The next two, Glow and Grunge, are kind of unique, uh, something that you may want to do to your image. If you add Glow, what you're actually going to be doing is making the highlights brighter and removing detail from the highlights. So as I move that to the right, you can see how it removes the detail a little bit from the highlights and makes it brighter. But what it's also doing, it's also making the midtones a little darker. So it's kind of leaving the shadows alone. But it's making those midtones, like the beach here, a little darker. So it's making the blue sky a little darker blue and making that beach a little more darker looking. Now the grunge slider does as it implies. It kind of gives your image that kind of grungy look. And as you move it to the right, you'll notice it just kind of makes the whole image darker. And if you look up here at the histogram, you'll notice it's just shifting every pixel to the left. So it's really just making your image overall darker, which at times could give your image kind of that grungy look. So that's really how you could operate this HDR look slider. What I think think it's best at is just on some images it's hard to get detail in both the midtones and the shadows and the highlights all at the same time and with this um, filter it seems to be able to allow you to do that it seems to rein in the highlights open up the shadows and not shift the midtones as much so that you could obtain that detail throughout your image so you know, what I would suggest you do is pick a style to get you close to what you want. Let's say I kind of like surreal, but then I'll come in and readjust things. So I'm going to bring the highlights down and maybe even bring the shadows down a little bit. Then I'm not going to affect uh, glow and grunge. Those aren't really um, sliders that real help, help me with my style, more or less. Then I'll bring detail down a little bit also something like that so you know you could come in pick a style first then move the sliders until you get something you like and i'm not necessarily satisfied with that but for the sake of this video let's say i am there's before and there's after there's before and there's after now if you really like what you did and you'd like to save that as a style go to this little more drop down then go to save new style and let's just call it my oops helps if I could type call it my style and we're gonna click save now let's pick another style let's say natural go to the drop down and you can see at the very top is my style and I'll click on that and it will put the sliders back where I had them so you could create your own preset style Simple as that. Also, if you look over on the left-hand panel in our Filters tab, you can see it's right there as well. So, very cool. You could create your own style, as you can with most of the filters in On One Photo Raw 2018. And that's it for this video. I hope you experiment with that HDR look filter. I kind of wish uh, On One gave it a different name because HDR has um, usually a bad... Uh, wrap. So um, experiment with it. And remember, you could try to use it to try to affect your image in a way that you can't uh, do with any of the other filters. So it might be beneficial for some scenes. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.